Welcome to Scott Tindall's Home Shop. My name is Scott. My name is Tara. And today we're going to show you how we mounted the new four jaw chuck. Thank, thanks to a viewer that was uh, kind enough to uh, help us out when our other chuck went out. Uh, we got a new three jaw chuck and a new four jaw chuck. But I only show mounting the four jaw chuck and I think we did a live video of the three jaw anyway. So, uh, we're gonna show the new four jaw and machining down the backing plate. Uh huh. It'll be fun. And the only thing that we don't show is the counter boring of the of the holes in the back, but we do show drilling them. All right. So don't forget, you only have a few days left. I don't know. I think it's less than 15 to get your very own. Got the Mohawk Shop t-shirt. There you go. Buy your t-shirt. Buy your t-shirt. <laughs> Alright, so sit, grab you a Coke or a beer or whatever you want to grab. Water or something. Water, yeah, that'll work. Sit back. Sit back, relax, and, and enjoy the video. Enjoy the show. backing plate for the chuck and facing off the front here and uh, I later found out that my shaft has a, about a two thousandths run out on the face and that was a lot for about a five eighths uh, register that's turned on it's on this little shaft but I later went in there and, and turned that down and I uh, got it down to uh, less than half a thousandths you can see right there that register right there <laughs> you can barely see it and so uh then yes i did take the backing plate back off of the chuck and put it back on and run through and touch it back up and i got the, the chuck body running less than a half a thousand run out and that's a four jaw chuck so you can indicate the part in perfectly so you don't have to worry about that but i'm going to remove all of that counter bore area all that piece that's sticking out uh, mainly to take the weight off the nose of the spindle and to reduce the uh, centrifugal weight or the mass just reduce the mass to uh, keep from the chuck from hanging out so far and um, I may I, I was going to take it at, take it down more than that because the back gear pin comes out but uh, I'm gonna leave it I'm just going to take off this uh, half inch that's back here, a quarter inch that's back there, I'm rather sorry, and then we're going to leave it, leave it like that. And then we dress up the back, and we dress up the minor diameter of the of the boss that's sticking off the back and the face, and and all of that. So, um, everybody have a good day and a good weekend, rest of the weekend, and uh, 
Thanks for watching and I hope y'all enjoy.
I'm fixing up trap. I'm using my transfer points to mount my chuck. Mark. I mean, mark my chuck. Same holes, no, no, no hole made. Oh, you can get out if you don't mind. All right. All right. So you got a mark? Yes, sir. All right. Now what I do? Take the chuck down. Okay. Lay it over here on the workbench behind you. All righty. Now what? All right. The next thing you do is um. Okay. I'm just verifying again. Make sure the lead was unplugged. It is. All right, now we need to get the backing plate off. So. So we're going to take the Allen wrench and go up in here and rotate the lathe around until I hit the back, until I hit the sun gear here. Okay. <clears throat> oh, crap, I need a spanner. I don't have a spanner wrench. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> Em, let me get there. But I won't. So we're just gonna grab it right here on the back. Oh, oh, see, I just couldn't get a grip on it. That's all. All I had to do was just barely tug on it. See, I'm just holding the belt now, and I'm gonna have to come up with the um block i've already got the idea of what i'm going to do to hold this i might put it take it out there in the shop but see there's a hole right there oh, let me get the, the light there we go and there's so there's I'm trying to get it back far enough away from the camera there's one and there's one over here let me tilt you back up here so you can see what i'm doing there we go there's one here and one there and one right there and one here and then that one's original that's the original hole all right first thing i had to do and this is at the end of the video but uh and i'll well I'll, yeah right, there's my um counter bore all right so I got to drill these holes and then turn this over but I, so we'll see all right out to the shop we go all right all right now we're in here to the drill press and granted this little laser thing it, 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 it's not accurate perfect yeah we're just going to drill the hole, and that's about it. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is tighten up the chuck. I have a, I have a, a knob on the bottom with a washer and a carriage bolt, and I have a, I have a washer under there. So now I need to come down and make sure that I'm hitting that hole and now once I get it right where I want it and tighten it ready enemy right, we're going to tighten it up All right now give me your raw hot hammer Now these aren't these holes aren't super critical because the register is what hold it centers the chuck. These just hold it on there. So now I get it, pull it down a little bit here. Let's see. All right. Now let me give it a final tighten. And I'll go back down 
me check it again. Now I'm going to turn it on. Let's see. shaking camera there um, I have it mounted on the motor all right oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, hang on how many that hose down there why are we blowing chip why are we blowing uh, okay hold on y'all we'll get our game together here in a second turn it on where are you trying to go? You lost both of them? I don't think I lost both of them. Oh, Alright, listen back up. Lock it down. Ah, it's turning on us. Hold on. Just leave it alone. We have all the holes. Loosen it up. I'm gonna take the clamp off. All right. Now we're gonna take this off. Take the bolt out. Make sure that one on the back is deep enough that we don't get into our threads at all. Yeah, we're not. All right. Now. Okay. All four of those are. See, there's a there's a shadow on there. I don't know if you can see it or not. A a line. Okay, and those holes are all lined up. So now, and it's real easy to know which side to drill. So that's recess side. So now we're going to flip her over. There we go. Hold on a minute. Put the bit down through there. All right, there we go. You don't have the washer. Ah, see, so you got your hair tied back. Cool. Alright, so we're going to put that bit down in there to line it up. Keep going. Alright, I need a pair of channel locks or something to hold uh, that bolt. Yeah, those little ones. There we go. Now we're tight. Alright, so that should be right in the center of the hole. Now, we'll change out our bit. So this, we'll see in the camera. 
Ah! You gotta be kidding me. You gotta look this down. Well, if I do that, it'll, it'll, it'll all be changed. Oh. Now we ain't got any choice. Gotta let it down. And, uh, now we need to tighten it back up real quick to recenter it. Oh, the stupid drill press don't only has two inches of throw. <clears throat> now let's see if we can get it out. Well, that's not gonna work because it's, ah. Can we like? Oh, you gotta be kidding! Hold on a minute. Why am I doing this so tight? The thing got. Pull it down. Alright, there. Alright. Oh, what you got? I just I just give it away. I said it's got two inches of travel. I said I don't want it. Now, let's try. Hold on. First off, we well, we, we've tightened it up. Kind of wrong. Alright. Well, I don't have a dividing head or anything like that, so it's killed. Oh. Now, we still don't know if we're going to be able to get the big bit in there. I don't have a short bit. Okay. Okay, that looks like that. Looks like it's too far over. I mean, it looks like that's gonna drill out of the side of it. What I'm doing, and it's probably not professional, is this is a brand new bit, so I'm assuming that the sides are the same, and I'm watching the bit for any deflection. It should go down in the hole and just sit straight down in there, and it shouldn't scoot over to the side like it's scooting right there, so I need to come. And right there. And then I'm going to turn it a little bit and just make sure that it's not 
dancing. All right, now once I got it set, I'll tighten this up a little bit more to make sure that it doesn't move. And I'm just gonna turn it by hand and look, and the mark looks even. And now we're gonna drill it again. Now, what I'm going to attempt to do, we're going to, Red, help me. We're going to transport ourselves to the other room. One, two, two three, three, go. Poof! See? We're here. we're here. It worked. It worked. Magic. Yes. Alright, so now. We won't we won't, we're not going to tell you our secrets. No, we're not. So, hang on. Alright. Anybody see that little point right there? That little oiler point? How, what kind of, where's the tip? Where do you buy the tip? Uh, and, and Or how do you get it on there? I don't, so, I don't never been used, good at using those stupid things. So, if you know so, anything, there you go. comment, comment. Alright, so, below. let's uh, turn you around here so you can see what we're doing here. Right here. Yep, right there. Alright, so now, now you can see what we're doing. Alright, so let's get this, this one out of the way. I was able, took me a while to do it, and I may do it to this one. But uh, I took nearly a quarter of an inch off of there so the chuck's not sticking out so far. And, and it took, uh, I don't know how much weight it took off, but it took enough. Take that out of the way. What's this? All right. Okay. All right. Now. Wait a minute. I'm going to give them a little bit of. There they go. All right. Now. We are. Fixing to mount up. Oh, sure. those holes line up great. Alright. There we go. That's snug enough. Alright, now let's, uh, Let's uh, flip them back around here. Right. Mm -hmm. Hang me down there. There you go. They can see. Oh, let's see. Uh, and the light over there. There we go. Yeah, okay, there you go. Alright, now, so. Let me see my stuff. I'm going to change these out to socket head cap screws because I don't like studs because you can't get in there and tighten up on those real good. So let's run this all the way up on there. Hold on, we're doing, I can tell you right now we're doing something wrong. So you always want to support your chuck. Okay, and we'll get you a piece of wood to put down there so in case you drop it. So support your chuck so it doesn't wear your threads out. Air hose, just blow the trash out of the threads, out of the chuck. Not quite yet ready for that. I'll have to put that on later. <clears throat> All right. All right. Let's see what she, if she wobbles. Oh, got to plug it back in. We unplugged the lathe earlier. All right, so let's see. We got a little bit of wobble on the casting back here at the back. But it wasn't machine true, but the chuck doesn't seem to be wobbling. And the vibration has gone out of the lathe. And the chuck is running nice and smooth. get the proper tools I I can reach in there and uh, come in from behind I don't know if you can see that yes I can reach in there from behind and just truth all this up so that it matches and everything and it's uh, right light 
let me reach around here here don't do this reach around here and I don't see any light behind the chuck nope and I don't see any light well those aren't tight tight yet I think there's a ridge I think there's a ridge because I can see light on the chuck it's not pulled up all the way but I think there's a ridge left in there from machining the, the face plate all right turn off the light did you do work on it yes yeah, it was well, just not pulled up all the way it, it's uh just not quite there it's close but not quite I need to get in there and uh, relieve that inside radius. I think I still I think there's a radius in there. Although, it's, albeit a mighty small radius, I still think it's a radius in there. And I need to get in there and and uh, relieve the radius. I need to make the radius sunk in so that the rate to the round over corner of the chuck, because the chuck's not relieved enough. All right, so. Unplug the lathe. There we go. It's unplugged. And let me put reason. this back in here. Come on, go back in the hole. There we go. Alright, remember what I told you. Support the weight of your truck. Support the weight of your truck, yes. So it's not so you're not grinding on the thread, just trying to take it off. Alright. Oh, so nice. Now. Alright, you want me to move them again? Let's right, spin them back around. Alright, there we go. Alright, you want me to come back over here? Well, what we got to do now is we got to see. Now, granted, I'm not able to tighten this all the way up because I don't have the proper stuff. Oh, um, I need a punch. A punch? Yes. All right. Take that and sit that out of the way. Yes. All right. So we're getting our punches so that we can Right here. Oh, yeah. Right there. I'll take that. And I'll take All right. That. Where's our scribe? Our scribe. Is my scribe out in the shop still? Yes, sir. Your scribe is still outside in the shop. All right. Go get that. All right. I'll be right back. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a witness mark. Right there. That way, when we ever have to take it off the backing plate, I don't have to fight with trying to remember where it goes. And she's going to get me a scribe. She's going to get a scribe. While she does that, I'll clean up the red Loctite. I'm going to say, I'm going to change these out to socket head cap screws. But right now, I just Loctited the nuts on. And when that red Loctite kicks off, then I can tighten them down. I can put the monkey on them. And they'll stay put. I'll put blue on the what's going in the chuck. And I'm going to put red on the red on the nuts. And then I can run it down like a bolt. I don't have enough nuts or else I would just double nut it. Thank you, dear. There's my scribe. So there's our, there's our mark. Okay. And now I'm just going to come right here.
There you go. There's your scribe, nice scribe line. What is the scribe line for? So when you go to put this back on. Oh, you know where to line it up at? The dots, the line, dots will tell you, but the scribe line should tell you right exactly where it goes. Alright, All right, so now we finish taking these out. So, uh, that's something you can do. Take them out. I'm gonna go heat up the soup. Alrighty. Gotta take. Oh no, wait. This way. There you go. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. There we go. Alright, just taking these. Taking these out. Went from my. So for my daddy, while he heats up his soup, so he can eat his soup. Alright, that one's out. One more to go! Yay! There you go. Alrighty. Uh, they are all out now. That is lined up. Yeah. Uh, scribe is going to work. Um. Yes. Okay. So all the little, all these are out. They're all of them are out, so now I'm just waiting for my daddy. Uh, he scribed the line and also puts a little hose there. And also, you gotta be very careful when you're dealing with the, the chucks, because you don't want to hurt yourself, or and also, and also you don't want to hurt the chuck. And the threads. So that's why you hold it when you're taking it on, put it on the lathe, or taking it off the lathe. Yes. All right. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, I did the job. Now I am just waiting for Daddy, just talking to y'all while I wait for Daddy. Hello, kitty cat. That's my sweet little kitty. Hey, kitty. Look at the little kitty. Oh, no, don't bite me, don't bite. He's a sweet little kitty sometimes. Okay. Alright, get out of here, kitty, okay? I want you around here. Call the little kitty. Go, kitty. You back? I'm back. Oh. Alright, let me jump right there. And let me see. <laughs> let me see if I can figure out if it's just that it's not. If there's a shoulder in there I think there is there's also grit in here all right so what we need to do is I need your depth your depth micrometer depth micrometer yes 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 are you having fun kitty cat yeah they got to do the kitty cat today all right so I'll hold that down right there and get over here and Alright, so that is 13. 150 150 uh, 150 No, 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 100 and Because uh, it's not on the 50 yet 
So it's 100, so it's 25 plus 10 is 31, 2. 100 and... 131 and a half, 131 and a half thousandths. Alright. Yeah, way deeper than this. Way. Yeah, I don't have, I don't have to, I don't have to, uh, even measure that. It's uh, standing up off of it nearly a sixteenth of an inch, <laughs> but we'll measure it just to just to be be. Uh, it's hard to do this. Right. Clutch is grabbing. All right, this is one hundred and. Yeah, this one's 116,000. 116,000? A little over 116,000. And this one is. Uh, way. Way deeper. That's 113. No, 30. That's 131, two and a half. About 132 and a half thousandths. All so, right. uh, hey, we got to use your depth, my friend. So that's not, that's not holding at all. That's not holding at all. Yeah. Um, so I'm looking right here to see, and I have to use a bright light, to see if there is a ridge there. Let me get my scale. Let me get my scale here. Shine the light down here, baby. Yep. Right there. And that is? I'll get him. Get him, get him, get up, get down. Why, how did you get up here so fast? Yeah, it's a little, uh, it's a little bump right in the corner. Alright, so. That's, me I mean, that's messing with this. Right, so what we need to do is, you always clean it, clean this off. Put this back up on the lathe. We don't need to change the diameter. We don't need to change the diameter. Turn you around and point you down. Turn you around and point you down. Yeah. Right there. There's a little tiny Just go, go put him in, go lock, put him in the bedroom. It's still, alright, so I need to take this bit out. I just need to take the bit out and I need to uh, increase the angle. Be right back with you. Stone off. Now I put a little bit extra on here, point on here, because I need to get right in that corner. Right in that corner. Uh oh. Right there, I just need to get in that corner. Mm. Your scale fell. Yep. I got it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to do this by hand if I can.
out of the way. Hold on, let me unplug it. Oh yes. Okay. Can you? Now it's sitting up there flat. Now I want to measure with my Chinese calipers. Chinese calipers. That's uh, the um, Well, that worked good enough for the other one. So let's see what we have here. Okay. We have 21560. 21560, everybody. 21560. No, 21580. I'm sorry. 21580, everybody. 21580. Now I'm gonna zero it, and now I'm gonna I'm gonna make. That is minus twenty four. Uh, minus. Uh. About ten. Ten high, ten thousand. No. About one thousand. One thousand. Well, actually. That's about a half a thousand. Half a thousand. Half, what, one yeah, about one, one, about half to one thousand, depending on where you measure. Okay. 
Yeah, one thousand. So it's, it's one thousand difference. So you're talking about a half a thousandth difference on both sides. That's yeah. You can't. I don't think. I don't think you can get it any closer than that. Have it slip right up on there and it not move. It's not moving. that back up so we don't break all right now we have to I can't tell it besides once you once you get it on there and bolt it down all right so there you go now we just take it all, all right over here. waiting on the glue to dry all right I'd like to say thank you to everybody that's watching this video and thank you to everybody that's given to the t Scott Tunnels Home Shop, mainly to my daughter, and to the shop, and people that have bought t-shirts, and people that have sent in tools, and people that have donated money, and I don't recall names very well, um, and I get confused with screen names and people's actual names, so I don't mean to leave anybody out, but thank you very much for donating to my daughter, and thank you to Keith Rucker for the lathe Thank you to the fellow that give Keith Rucker the lathe so he'd have a lathe to give away. And thank you to all the people that have voted. Um, we will continue working with the lathe. Um, we've done several upgrades on it. New chucks and made the, these are camera pins right here for uh, the GoPro. And just other things that we've made so far with it. And again, thanks to everybody that's, that's helped out. Uh, it's greatly appreciated. All right, catch y'all next time. Bye-bye.